Let me get it. Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim. I am coming to you this morning and I'm very excited about today's video because you know I've been talking about wanting to come back here uh, to Camp Oaks RV Center and walk in and out of these campers. And I want to introduce you uh, to Kimberly and her husband, Aaron, that are third generation. Yeah, uh, we've been doing this a while. And I would like you to just tell the audience that I've got a great community uh, about your grandfather sure. and how you guys started and what you got going on here at the uh, Camp Oaks RV Center. I love to tell this story. So I'll start, if Aaron has anything to say, he can chime in. But sure. my granddad actually was an accountant from World War II and he was trying to find his way. He wanted to buy a camper and nobody near him sold them. He just wanted to go camping with, with his three boys. So he drove up to the factory just to get one and they convinced him and said, Mr. Adams, what if you buy three and try to just sell them outside your accounting office? Well, he did that and my grandmother had a fit and he had a 50 year business out of that with my cousins and everybody running around when I was a kid growing up. And so when my dad and his two brothers decided to retire, they sold to a corporate company. And it was a good experience because we figured out really quick, we're not corporate. It was hard for us because we've been so used to doing family. So we started our own dealership with our three little kids. And we do things that kind of the way granddad did. We're easy going, like that. They do, they do. No commission salespeople. We want to keep camping fun. Yes. And we feel like it should be, listen, I've been doing this my whole life and I never get tired of looking at campers. It's always fun for me. So I know how fun it is for, for our customers. And so we always say browse around and hopefully it's fun and a laid back So I'm sure Tim will show you like every day we have all of our campers open, all the lights on, all of our new campers, everything is open for you to come look through. Uh, no pressure sales. Just yeah, like no said. pressure or no hidden fees, no commission. The price you yeah. see on the camper is the price you pay, and if you're in state, add tax. That's and you know it. what? Oh, We're okay. having a lot of fun doing this. So, we, so we just tax and the price. There's no yeah. other, no other fees. Simple. We all the uh, business a, profits that we need to make, it's fair, is all included. Yeah. There's well, and we give you even a starter kit, toilet paper, and chemical, oh. and water hose, and sewer hose, and, and, uh, and a demo, of course. But we do it because we want to help you get started. And what products? I see there's a couple of different <laughs> brands. Um, I didn't look at the ones that are like a metal uh, yeah. on the outside. I want to look at those. W what products do you carry? Well, so we kind of have started out specializing in lightweight towables for right. just the everyday family to get involved in. So we have everything from truck campers to pop-up campers all the way up to fifth wheels. We don't do motorized yet. Um, one day down the road, but right now we are kind of focused in that. So we carry Coachman, Catalina. Coachman. Flagstaff. Flagstaff Flag goes from pop-ups to fifth wheels. Yeah. And that's what I'm interested in. That's Palomino what I want to go out and look at. Palomino truck campers. Um, we have Travel, Travel Light, Light which RVs. does little 2,000 and under pound campers with a bathroom, and they do truck campers as well. We do Sunray, which we don't um, have in stock right now stock, for you to see, but, but they're little teardrop campers with outdoor But uh, anyway, thank you so much, you're Kimberly welcome. and Aaron. Yeah. If you're ever interested in buying, I'm telling you, these are the most beautiful style campers. I, I had to come back. I think so, but I'm biased. No, they really <laughs> are. They have the coolest shape, that front window and everything. And plus, like I said um, the other day when I was here, they got them for the back of your truck. They've got uh, the Colt Coachman yeah. that I want to look at, the metal uh, outside. So we're going to turn the camera around now. I'm going to give you guys a great tour of the property and what we've got. Again, Aaron and Kimberly yeah. here, the owners, you've met them personally. There's no commissions here. The prices are what they are. There's no gotcha fees. If you live in the area, uh, state of uh, Georgia, you pay your tax and you're done. That's it. Have so, fun browsing. All right. Thank, thank you. you so much, everybody. All right, folks, thanks very much for uh, watching that interview I had with Aaron and Kimberly. And I spoke with them off camera about a lot of other things that pertain to me and what I might be interested in. Folks, I'm telling you right now, you can go to a lot of places to buy cars and RVs. And being someone that was in the business for 33 years, well, 17 years, 33 years I was in my, my own business. I was in the car business for 17 years. I know wholesale, retail, profit margins, all of that. And that's always going to be in me because, you know, I don't want to overpay. You don't want to overpay. You are not going to have that problem. Miss Kimberly just told me she don't like that haggling stuff. She says, why should two people that buy a camper, one get one price and one paid another price? Why can't you just sell them both? I mean, their philosophy, their beautiful inventory here. I've been on some lots before. This is this place has got some good stuff. So without rattling my mouth anymore, 
let's go ahead, turn the camera around. And when I finally get to the one that I'm telling you that I'm interested in, which is the 25 FK BD front kitchen, front kitchen bed slide um, that, and they even told me that a lot of people come in here. They don't try to put the big heavy trailer on you and you drive a half ton truck. They say that these truck uh, ratings for towing are way high. And I've already been told in the comments that you need to work with about 80% of what your truck is rated to tow to be safe. And they agreed with that. You know, some places you might go in and might say, oh yeah, it's rated at 14,000. You can get it, just buy it. No, they told me that somebody came in and was wanting to do that. And they said, your, your truck's not gonna pull that. So I'm, I think I'm gonna be okay with what I'm looking at, but let's take a look at these campers. Let's look at the weights. Let's look at the inside. You're like, Tim, turn the camera around and show us those beautiful campers. Here we go. Okay, let's begin everybody. I've got Miss Tammy here with me to get her opinion on everything. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I wanted to tell you when I was here before, I probably did say it earlier, is when they open for business, they open for business. Everything is plugged in and the lights are on. The awnings are out. They're sporting the front light that they have on them. I mean, this place really welcomes you. They just say, go ahead, browse all you want. You got any questions, you just come and ask us. Everything is open. This is the best RV place you could get. Let's begin, Miss Tammy. Let's walk in the very first one. This is probably, you know, the same as I have as far as size, but much better quality because it's got two axles. And this one is called a, a Microlite 21 uh, front bedroom RS. It's a $33,000 price. There is no other fees, folks. It weighs, I'm going to get my C-Rights on. I have them with me today. It weighs 4,493 pounds dry. Okay, and there's, I'll find the label of where it says how much they can be, um, you know, fully uh, gross vehicle weight. What size is this? Huh? What size is this? It's a 21 footer. And already this would accommodate Tammy and I because we got the two seats here. There's a little slide. You have some that are bigger. This is the uh, smaller slide that slides out. It has the front bed. And she said, lay on these beds. You got to really know. So I'm going to lay down first thing, and I can tell you, it's a, it's a pretty comfortable mattress. Would you like to lay down? No, I can sit down. I think okay. every mattress needs a proper. Um, oh, of course. We'll put a memory foam on there. But he, they put all the information in here for you. Like I said, all the electric is on. Here's the um, beautiful glass um, refrigerator, re residential refrigerator. They all have the similar style uh, bathroom, but what I, what I like is, look, there's places to put stuff. Oh, yeah. All your towels and everything. Yeah. Even though the space is a little small, because this is a smaller camper, you've got, I don't even have that. I have a mirror that's flush against the wall. And then there's a spot down here. And they all, I think, incorporate this, uh, forget the name of these, uh, this kind of a shower. I watched a video that someone said, there's a shower head they got on Amazon for $10. They were gonna leave the link that it's well worth it. The floors and the colors I'm absolutely in love with. Very light. And as far as eating, look, you have this table here. Mm -hmm. How did that feel? It's, it's comfortable. You got storage here. Cold. Let me uh, pan around for you guys slowly. After watching a lot of videos, I was like, oh, this is what you need to do, fella, is video like this to give people the real view of the inside now this is already you know way nicer than my wolf pup wouldn't you agree yeah i mean look you've got the bed right there you've got two chairs we're not bumping into each other Little, uh, yeah thing. nice appointments Pretty heavy. oh are they you know oh um also i was going to point out somebody uh there they are. Look, they all the way, they slide. Oh, they're on slider. Okay, that's a good quality. They feel good. Let me lift this up. Look, it just comes up. There's these shock absorbers. That's that aluminum frame that they're built on. Look, this is not screwed into some wood. These things break right off of most of those campers that are screwed into wood. Look at that quality. This is nice. 
But this is a very nice mattress. Yeah, that's a that's a nice mattress. Oh, I love it. That's all oh, these things slide so smooth, folks. These are deep. Look at that. And you have two of those. Folks, this is nice. 33,000 plus tax. No other fees. You go to a lot of these places, you're going to be sit down and it's going to be five or $6,000 more with all their little gotcha fees or little trickery. And look at the blinds. Look at this thing that comes with it. And there's a lot of starter stuff that she mentioned uh, that they give you too. Look how deep that is. All right, I'm going to move a little faster because I want to get to uh, the one that I'm interested in, the 25-footer. But uh, I'm going to really feel like it's a mansion after this 21-footer. Uh, I've been in some RVs, folks. I've been to RV shows. I'm telling you right now, I am impressed with everything, how it looks. Look what they employ. And this is an electric awning. You get this light out here. Um, oh, and check out this. It's a suburban grill. And it just hooks on, I think, on this. Look at this big storage. Goes all the way through. Look at this aluminum. Of course, you get, uh, it looks like two batteries. Big uh, propane tanks that looks like 30 gallon. You've got the electric tongue jack. They're not in there right now. All right, here we go. This is the a 2024 25 DK, same price, dry weight, 5,700 pounds. Look at this beauty. Look at this outdoor kitchen. It's got the refrigerator here. Oh my goodness. Look at all the lights on, what they do for you. All of these... Um, Flagstaffs employ these very sought after Goodyear Endurance tires. And look at those aluminum mag wheels. Look how handsome that is. And before I go inside, I know it's going to be beautiful. Folks, look at the, the front cap. Look at how beautiful and shaped these are. Nice, uh, you know, coloring and uh, graphics on them. Let's go in here. Look at these steps. Oh, and the door. Got a window in it. Are you ready, folks? Oh, this is the Murphy bed. So you have all this extra room. And I don't know how some people feel about them. But you have a sofa here, a booth here. I mean, the material is very interesting. It's not cloth. Very nice. Again, the colors. This is like a model. Oh. Let me back out for you. On doors. Nope. They're locked. <laughs> Don't they open? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Everything's designed so it doesn't fall out on you when you're going down the road. Sink. Your TV, microwave. Look at all of this real estate for prep area. Oh, my goodness. Come on down. You got all of these cabinets, everybody. Now, here's a deep shower it's not a tub but you're not going to have any water fly out on you here video me getting in the shower this is what they do on youtube make sure you got me in the frame right sure. so i'm in here i'm only 510 folks and uh it's got this little sky roof there's no fan in here it's just a a light but that gives you good light a little place up here to put your soap and things and again you can change the shower head to something that uh you know really puts the pressure out it has a little sliding door. Oopsie. Nice little, uh, I, I like this. I've seen some that only have this much of a sink, you know, a counter. You can't put anything out. Look at all this. Put all your stuff out. You got this here, all of this. And wait a minute. Wait for it. Look at this. Come on now. I would rather have all of that storage. And look, down below and even here for towels, than a bigger room per se. Yeah. Now let's do the test. People do this on YouTube. That, I think that is weird. Well, I mean, you know, you have to see what you got. Oh, and it has this. You just turn this. 
pocket door. Oh, it's magnetized. I felt it. The thoughts that goes into everything. Everything feels good too. That's not going to break. Look at all these cabinets and drawers. Yes. So the way this works is this folds uh, down and then the Murphy bed just, just comes forward. It takes like two seconds. I won't demonstrate it. Uh, maybe Aaron will come out later. Here we've got 36,995. Again, it's uh, 5,700 pounds. It's got one big slide. Uh, this is a little a nice refrigerator. Oh, it, you click it right here. Look at the size of that freezer. And some of them I looked at. Let's see if it has it. Uh, I know the other one that I looked at does. It's got these uh, things right here to put cans in. This, 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 this is amazing compared to what I'm working with now. I love the color of the floor. And someone pointed out on YouTube, this is not carpet. This is a... It's almost like uh, even plastic or rubbery. It's not... It's very easy to clean. It's not going to stain. Very nice. Of course you have all of the storage. How big is this one? This one is a 25 foot. The total outside uh, length is 25 feet 11 inches. That's the exterior length. So this is well under the 30 feet. Uh, chef's dream, massive counter storage space, front Murphy bed, outside kitchen. You don't want to make a, a smelly mess in here. You want to cook some bacon? Use that outside kitchen, which I showed in the beginning of the video. Folks, uh, I'm open to some other things now. Never never say... Oh, and also the air conditioning units. I forgot to ask how many BTUs. But this one, this has a... Uh, it's called a Coleman Mock. And what I understand is you slide this closed and that forces the air to these um, to these ducts so you have air that gets distributed around oh look I gotta point it out I love these it's got the max air fan you have no idea look at the controls on this they suck air out and they blow air in their massive uh, air mover so if you've got heat in the camper this is the max air fan comes with it, all part of the price of what you're getting. And look at these things. I love that. Wow, look at this sink. The one I have right now, if you don't turn the water, if you turn the water on any more than like a drizzle, it splashes out everywhere. Look at this big, nice sink. And this is, these are cool. Look at that. Yeah. These are cool. Got this little rubber edge on it here. My goodness, I love this camper. And that Murphy bed, I'm going to consider it. <laughs> Another big deep closet. We're going to get to that, uh, the one that I like. Now, come yeah, on out. where's that? Come on out. Watch your step, Miss Tammy. These are electric um, uh, stabilizer jacks. They're not to equalize you, but they, they go down. I think there's a switch right here. That brings those down again you got the big battery pack massive 30 30 gallon or two tanks anyway all of them have got the electric jacks look it's got this LED light that I, I think when you put the bed down you can see out now what do we got here we've got a 24 another 35,000 they're about all the same price it's a 22 foot we looked at a 21 it's got the dual axle of course the Goodyear endurance tires Let's go inside. Electronic, uh, electric awning. Very similar to the 21. Yeah. This has a, a little privacy curtain here. Stay back there in the video. And look. How about that? Here's a wireless charger. Look at that. Put your phone right there. And look at this. Is that nice? Check this out. Have my coffee. There's my uh, TV. There's a fireplace, Tammy. Look at that. You can change the colors. It also puts out tremendous uh, heat. And it's electric. 
There's your front window. Isn't that nice? And I'm sure you have that view when the bed is down, the one we just walked out of. Okay, again, look at the size of this pantry. Someone on YouTube showed this the other day. You truly do not appreciate it on video, folks. This is, look, <laughs> and they're huge. One, two, three. Very big. And then you got one, uh, that's nothing. And of course, it's the same thing. We won't bore you too much on the bathroom. Uh, but this one does not have, I think the one we just came in was uh, a bigger one, right? So it doesn't have the storage over here. It's got, it does have the deep medicine cabinet storage over here. Look at this flood lighting. Look at these fancy appointments. And I'm, and I'm pulling on everything, folks. Everything got the fantastic fan. <laughs> and I got a little cough. I, I like these shower. I think it's very modern looking. Folks, I forgot to mention it. I saw it on YouTube. Porcelain. This is not plastic. This is the real deal. A porcelain toilet. Yes. Look how gorgeous. Anybody that steps into one of your uh, your uh, sunset uh, micro light is going to say, you can't hide money. This is beautiful. I love whoever has designed these with their colors and just the whole, uh, the chairs. Look at them, how cool those look with the wireless charger. And I understand too, they have these, uh, these shades. Watch this, wait for it. It's, I learned all this on YouTube. Watch this. It doesn't go, it's slow. And it feels quality, folks. Look at that. And you just push these right out of the way. I love this design. Oh, it's so hard to choose. All right, so we got, once again, a 2024-22 FBS. And it weighs, it's 23 feet, 10 inches, exterior length. Okay? And it weighs 5,000 pounds, completely empty, with a 600-pound tongue weight. 2024. This is no 2023, and we're still in 2023. This is the latest. I'm so excited about one of these. I really, really am. All right. Here's some more storage on this side. Look at all these shelves. I'm, I'm not going to have any problem. If I can live in a 16 FQ, man, oh, man. Here, I'll take it from you. Come down carefully. Oh, let me explain about the walk-on roof. And we didn't talk about that yet. And the ladder that's in the back. This is very important, uh, folks. When you buy one of these campers, okay, um, I understood a lot of them have this um, continental hard shell that goes over the tire. This is the, this, the rubber vinyl kind. But this, this ladder... You can go up there and it's a, a domed roof. So did you notice? That's why they feel so big. Real quickly, let me step back in. This is what I learned on YouTube also. See, this is an arched roof. It doesn't have that low flat roof, which makes it feel so small on your head and cramped in here. Okay, and once again, they've got this table that goes out here for uh, prep. Uh, you got your retractable uh, stabilizers there and i believe there's also uh some inverter thing i heard about Just the, one you the one i'm interested okay. in is this one i want to find the 25 front king it's got two doors the 25 front king got a honda generator running here this is the RD, this is not it. I think it's right, yes, here it is with the two slides. Should we go to it now? All right, we'll come back to this one. This is it, folks. Look, one slide, two slides. You saw it in my previous video. This is the one that Sarasota Tim is interested in getting. This is the one that I've seen other people that have 
purchased it and I'm going to see if they have the same colors, the same features. It's got the 15 inch. Uh, they're not 14s. I believe they're 15s. Where's the size? They are 14s. I lied. You can't believe a damn thing I say. Let's go in this way right here, the bedroom. And because it has a bed slide, yes, this is an incredible amount of space to walk. You have to crawl around most of these beds in these RVs. Look at all this room. And this is what's really impressive. How are you doing, everybody? You're talking about some hanging closet stuff for two people. This is it. And it gives you the, um, the illusion of even more room because you've got the mirror here. Look at that. There's the bed turning around. Got a vent up here. That slides out. And if you put a rug down here, someone said, make sure you pull that up uh, when you pull the slide in because it'll get jammed up in here. But it's a, um, a queen bed. Let me lay on it. I have no problem. Even without a memory foam, I'm sitting on it. I think I understand it to be a, it's a queen, right? Yeah, it's not a king. Outside. It did? Yeah. No, I think there's a front king that's in the next trailer over. Oh, maybe. But look at these doors. The look at this private bedroom. Go ahead. Close this up. How do I get out? There we go. So we can close that. I'm in the bedroom. I have my own door. How cool is that, folks? Look at this. Open the door, Tammy. Let's open the door. Oh, look at these individual spotlights, too. You have for reading. Look at those. I think they turn blue as well. Um, got some plugs right here. USB down here. Got your phone chargers. These all slide so smoothly. Nothing feels cheap. Oh, you can leave this open. You've got even more room. The master bedroom with the bathroom in the master. How about that? This has got that big closet. Wow, now this is roomy in here. I feel very, like a lot of shoulder room, a lot of shoulder room. This is nice. Oh, I'm slamming everything too hard. And then when you open up the door, you come on out. And it does have the sofa, it has the table I like. It doesn't have that big thing that just goes down behind. It has these, which are very nice. And let's see if they recline. They have electric lumbars, I heard. Oh, I feel it in my back. Oh, yes, yeah, pumping right up in the small of my back. Now, how do we open these? I think they manually you just push them out. Oh, you pull this right here. You ready? Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Turn on the TV. It's right there. I could probably put a bigger one, but that 32 is right in front of me. There's my fireplace. This is the front kitchen with the front window. And it has, of course, this right here with all of these charging part ports and uh, cup holders. And like I say, this lumbar support feels amazing and then of course you just you want to dine and when you're ready to get out of the way this how convenient is that how ergonomically designed can that be any better and then of course you can move this uh, I think you pull something but it just comes right away here is the refrigerator uh, which way does it open opens this way And this is the one that's going to have, okay, I don't want to break anything. Why isn't it opening? Oh, <laughs> folks, you can open it either way. Are you kidding? It works either way. Oh, my goodness. Hey, man, that snaps good. Look at this. Well, it doesn't have that little rack that I was looking for that 
uh, holds the cans, but that's fine. Look, you got your grill stuff that's included, uh, a water filter that's included. I don't know if it's a two-way or a one-way electric and propane or if it's just electric. <laughs> but this is a whole slide. You've got the duct AC. I got my fantastic fan. Man, oh man. Look at the flood lighting down here. This is uh, the furnace heat, I think. What do you think, Miss Tammy? I look better on TV. Huge pantry. Mm -hmm. Storage up here with a little lip mm -hmm. over there. Look how deep that goes. Plenty of room. And then, of course, you know, for your clothing, we saw this already. Plenty. You don't have to fight with something on each side of the bed. You just get up in there. It's got this nice headboard. How about that? And then, of course, and they slide very nicely. Big, giant, deep drawers. I'm loving it. So you got the one entrance here in the bedroom. This is the front kitchen bedroom slide, the FK. BS. It's $40,000. It's brand new 2024. This one here weighs 6,000 pounds dry and it has an 800 pound almost tongue weight. So you need a half ton that's, you know, no commission salespeople at Camp Oaks, just one camping family and loves to help others camping families. It's got all this. I love this big tall spigot here. There's the view outside your kitchen. You don't want a view? Bring that down. And then, of course, it goes up slow. You got USB there, electrical port there. All of this prep area, this prep space. Lots of counter space. Windows you can open for ventilation. And then, of course, you've got all these nice windows here. Uh, one of the cons that someone said about this particular model is what they call the um, camp campsite view, the campfire view. All RVs kind of face the back of another one at RV parks because you know you don't want to be like looking right at each other. See, this guy would be parked over there. He's looking at the back of my camper. So I don't have any windows per se in this camper, you know, for fireside view. That was one of the cons. If, if that's important to you. But you got your fireplace, TV, coming around one more time. A double slide. And this is right up there at the maximum weight. I believe the crusher is going to be able to pull. Now let's go to the one we didn't go in. Right. It does have the continental cover. Uh, and also, that's nice. It does not have a Goodyear Endurance tire for a spare. They do, they do not give you that. But you've got this walk-on solid ladder. Uh, there could be solar up there. They do come with solar, some of them. I got this generator running. Now let's go on in this one right here. This 24, 25 foot, eight inch uh, RD, rear dining room. As we come in, Nice colors. Oh, different coloring. I like it. Big bay window in the back. Storage. We've got our big arched ceiling that gives it a very high feeling in here. Oh, look at the backsplash. This trailer features real wood cabinets, larger booth dinette, theater recliners, king size bed, tankless water heater. That's what I was talking about. Wi Fi booster, extreme weather package. Heated and enclosed underbelly. Heated tanks, thermofoil technology. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. It's got all, how's that king look up there? Theater seating instead of the sofa. Try out that uh, chair. And look at this big booth. This is beautiful. I like this 
Yeah, yeah this is a nice bat. Yeah. It's got, uh, I don't think it has the electric um, lumbar support in it, but it does have the recliner pull here. And you've got, let's see what kind of refrigerator. It's a Furion. You pull it from here. There you go. <laughs> More than I need, folks. Plenty of storage in here. This one just has a different floor plan. They're the same length. I like this floor plan. And uh, you like this floor plan better? And it's got this backsplash. I saw somebody on YouTube actually put the same backsplash yeah. on. We saw it last night. Now, it does have less. The, the other one is a front kitchen. This one has a little less, but plenty of prep space. And let's just see what you have. Big TV, 40 inch. And of course it comes out and tilts. But that booth is amazing. Yeah. Now, how do you sit in it? Let's see how comfortable it looks. Oh, here's our dimensions right here. Dry weight. Oh, it's less. 5,600. Yeah. Hitch weight. 774. Less money. Less money. <laughs> uh, wow. Fresh water tank and all that. Man. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, I like this. this the one you like, Miss Tammy? I don't even care. Let me go take a look at this king size bed. Are you ready, folks? Now, there is a door you can go in. Now, here's the bathroom. How does it compare? It's got, oh, plenty of places for stuff, towels, and all your things. I like that. Also, I'm sorry, also down here, it's, it's meeting, it's checking all the boxes. Not a lot of space here, but you can just pull it all out of right there. That's a little less because it's going to catty corner there but you can put everything right here and grab it and I'm turning around do I have it I've got a porcelain toilet oh this doesn't have the uh, dome shape so you have a little more room yeah. all right king blue lights wow you don't have the room because the other one had the bed slide. This is that narrow thing right here. This is, let me show you from the from the steps here. When you come in, it's got a privacy door though. I can't close that either. It What's, oh, it has a hook. Uh, and you have no closet compared to the other. You have closet. So darn, I, I like some of the things about this and I like some of the things about the other. Uh, I definitely like the more room in the other one with a huge, uh, but the uh, the living area that you're at most of the time is very wide, very nice. Got the ladder that's right in the back of the window. You can slide that open too. You got a big screen there. All these open. Sorry about that generator noise out there. It does have the uh, the fire um, fireplace. Not especially keen on this style backsplash, but they stuck that on just like the other. Picture. Yeah, I don't. I wonder if they just added that because Probably. I don't know if um, the factory put that on because it looks exactly like what I saw on YouTube. Somebody bought it Lowe's and put on. Yeah, it's a tough one here on tough call because I really like the bedroom on the other and the uh, uh, closet space. And this one really, I like the coloring in it. Yeah. It's light, but got some darkness to it with these grays. Uh, I don't like this. This is a, I don't know what you do with that. That slides around. You gotta put that somewhere. Or I think these hold it. This is what, this is what you do. Yeah, this holds it. Yeah. These straps go around it and hold it uh, back here oh that's a bed okay can have the grand girls over but man this whole living space I mean look at look at Tammy and I we're just we're, we can dance in here let's dance that's so weird <laughs> yeah this is, this I, like is this circular I mean I can stand here with another couple right hey how you doing 
This is nice. Yeah. The one I like, that I'm in love with, that I came here to see, this one, you get the frameless window back there, the ladder, look, LED lights. Tammy's not gonna like it, folks, but I love this one. Go in and try and fall in love with it. It's, it's very cool. What? Confining where the other one's open. Well, you mean the living room? Yeah. Well, let me come back in. Very confining. You see a wall like right when you walk in. Hmm. And you're like this. So one's about a living room and one's about a bedroom. Yeah. Like, look at this. Oh. <laughs> look at all this. And look at my closet and the mirrors. Well, yeah, the bedroom, the, the bedroom is better. And that's, yeah, way um, better. Headboard, but, gorgeous. But the living area, which you spend... And a private time. door. And if you close this door, area, you've got a master bedroom with a, with a bathroom inside. How, where do you spend more time? In the living room? Well, you got your chair. Huh? You got a chair now. And, you, and I like these tables. And it's got the electric recliners. Yeah, I know, but you walk in and you see a wall. You're confined. You're, you're closing a wall. Open, surrounding window. <laughs> and cheaper. That's why I didn't have a closet space. But, yeah. 6,000 pounds. 772 40. Well, we haven't even looked at those metal metal ones yet. And I haven't looked at that one either. I mean, you know, got to give it to her. It's like I love these colors. And uh, you got the two chairs. It's got the big TV. It's extremely um, noticeable of the um, hanging out space until it's time to go to bed. Uh, but <laughs> it's got a heck of a lot more than my, my wolf pup does. Who am I kidding? So here you go. Let me... Uh, Take it in normally. What Open do you think, space folks? with this window. Two windows. I like the kitchen. Big deep sink. Yeah. I like the big TV. Yeah, when you walk in the other one, you see a wall right away. Yeah. Oh, I like and uh, this is also. Uh, a front, a king bed anyway. This particular model, look at this giant storage in here. Uh, a two-door model. Oh, a front uh, outdoor kitchen. Okay, now this one's kind of, oh, it's only 5,600 pounds. Hitch weight is low. It's a, it's a year old. It's less money. What do we have here, folks? Is this three times a charm? What do we have here? Well, I see a big living space right away. It's kind of a love seat, not a theater chairs. That is a slide. This whole thing is a slide, this whole box right here. It's got the uh, 40 inch TV, a nice booth. Decent colors. What is this huge oh, thing? You have this big platform here. Okay. I haven't gone back to look at the king bed yet. Well, maybe it works. It's the same bedroom. It's the same front bedroom. So you come through a little hallway here. Is there a, uh, no, there's no door here. And you can't have a private no, bathroom. Yes. 
You can't have a... There's a door and there's a slider here. Yeah, but you don't have the private bedroom like the one uh, from the living room that has a, the bathroom right in the bedroom. And this one has a tremendous uh, porcelain, of course. I don't even have to check it. Plenty of storage. Oh, it got the, a smaller fan, not the fantastic fan. Uh, towel holders, these things you can add. How does this work on this one? It's the same kind. And this is a, a door that actually, instead of a, I wish they would have had a regular, um, you know, what do you call that? Cla um, what do you call those doors that slide in the pocket, pocket door? This is, have one right there, think, look, well, look, this is totally taking away the width. If this is not closed, I have to back up to get through. And here's a pocket door and it has a king. And guess what, folks? I don't need a king. What I need is room right here. Now, wait a minute. Bingo. We got us a closet. Not as big as the first one, but. Darn sight bigger than that one right there. And you've got these. And you've got the king. But what a difference there. But first, while we're still on the Flagstaff super lights, let me just go into this one right here. And I don't need to go in that smaller one there. This has got, oh, this has got the, uh, oh, this might be another front king, a front kitchen. Yes. Okay, home sweet. Oh, it has a TV a for the bedroom. The yes, that's all you need. But I'm saying it's got the bed slide. It's got the walk through. Oh, wait a minute. That's kind of... Um... Oh, wow. Look, it's got a dinette table in the front kitchen. Yeah. And the theater seats. Again, not electric, but they recline. You're Got the this, phone charger. These chairs are gonna fly out. They go around the legs. There's a strap down below. Mm. And look, I think something uh, folds out. Something here. Well, anyway, uh, I'm not sure. Yes. Oh. Yes, there's a strap here. Well, what's the reason that this one went up in price? more than any of them we've seen so far. Super light, that's a 26 footer. Mm -hmm. And it weighs, oh, this is pushing all in a thousand pound tongue weight. <whistles> this might be a little bit too big, but it's the front this. kitchen, uh, like the 25 um, FKBS. This one's called the 26 FKBS. So you got another foot. I don't need it. No. The 25 is plenty big, and I don't need to press I don't need to press the, uh, yeah, the booth's probably better. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, folks, when you're looking at campers, there's no doubt you're going to have likes and dislikes from one to the other. Look at this one has the little, the little reading lights mm -hmm. with a USB right there. Isn't that cool? How you turn it on? I just want to turn it on one time. No. Just one time if I could see. No. Let me do it one time. No. <laughs> Can't do it. Oh, you saw your button right there. Okay. And I like that. That's good reading light. Uh, that one right there is a... I'm going to get them all for you, folks. We don't get cheap on you here. This is a small camper with a bed right there, like my 16-footer. This gives me a, 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 a recall of what I live in, but yet it's wide because it has a slide. I would be looking at right here in mine. And so that's the end of it. Uh, you have the bathroom. is the only extra extension you have, but that has a tremendous storage bathroom they do a very good job with storage and drawers and things like that just a little short on some models because of the closet but this is a small camper yeah. but look how roomy it feels like the head yeah. the ceiling is just like mine this is not those low those low ceilings make it feel you get in those uh, some of those 
Oh, look. Has this pop up uh, I saw that. thing here. Now, this one here, the price is $34,000, $29,995 now for a 2023 21 foot. Let's see what the weight is. 5,000 pounds dry, uh, 700 pound tongue weight. It's 22.4 inches outside so length. And you goes, got that window. This bed goes back and it's a couch. Oh, this is the Murray, the, the Murphy. Murphy. Oh, that's gonna make a lot of difference in the in the room then. I don't know how to do it, so I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I see the couch. Oh, it's it's caught? No, I understand. I see the Yes, couch. that makes it much roomier. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So you pull that out and lift that up. Look. Oh gosh, that's not light. Look at this, folks. Feel free to set the Murphy bed down and try it out. So you put this up. Okay, it simply connects in here. That was all there was to it. You don't have to do it. I want to show the couch up now. It won't come down. It's, it's leaning that way. This you simply pull up. There's storage under there. Oh, I think you take the, I think you pull it from the back there. Look at that. Now, let me come back here and video for you guys. See, that's this little kitchen right here. What is this? Something. And this big booth. Now, look how much room they give you in a 21-foot trailer. This could do it. This could do it. Look at this. This is very homey looking. Nice TV tucked away right there. And that bathroom, did you check it out? It's got all of those storage places. Let me see, has it got a fantastic fan? It's got a fan. It does. That's, yeah, it's the one that has a big, like a, like an airplane propellers. Oh, look. Yeah. Oh, Next. yes. Yeah. Folks, this is how you get you get all the room you can on a 21 feet. Now, if I was smart and I could put it where I live, this is where you go right here. 2023 model. And look at the weight. I could pull this like it's not even back there. Get all your controls here for the awning and everything and I don't know what all that is, but um, what we'll do is we'll put the, uh, you, can you can video me uh, putting it back, back up. All you do is go like this, and then you simply pull this down. This hits the floor. It's going to come at me, and you just set it down gently. And it's snapped in with this little lever here. It keeps it from coming up. And this just holds your bed clothes on there uh, that you would unstrap at night to sleep in it. And this is a very comfortable. All the mattresses feel great. You got plenty of room over here for your um, stuff. A shelf there. You got you a window. Uh, do they have those little blinds? I was beginning to worry. I was beginning to worry. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> There's some more closet or pantry space. But you can use it for, you can make any space you want for anything you want. Oh, and it's got this little clothes off. Pull that around. Hey, if I was looking for a small trailer and this is what I had to go with, and I had a vehicle that can only pull something like this, sold. This is it. What more do you need? Look. Oh, this is a, um, probably goes outside too. I don't know. It's, it's got some hinges. It's collapsible. Man, is this more than comfortable to eat at? There's my kitchen. I got this extension right there. 
I love these ceilings. I really, really do. And the bathrooms and the porcelain toilets. Uh, this has got the stainless um, fridge. And it's a magic chef. You've got your... Uh, I mean, look how big that is. Totally livable. How do I collapse this? Oh, you just push those in like that and down. Once you know what you're doing, nothing breaks. Everything is solid. This is a solid laminate um, top here. This must go on the outside and hooks uh, on the, uh, the outside there. And it's got the, the big three bar and, a, and an oven, folks. And an oven. Come on now. Folks, Camp Oaks RV Center. Kimberly and Aaron have got it going on. Their grandfather started years ago, probably one of the first in Atlanta, uh, they told me. And they've been, it's a third generation. And they really have figured it out. And they're doing it right. And I'm telling you, these prices for 2023 uh, inflationary times, you can't buy a jet ski for that. This is a whole house almost. And it is solid. Feels great. I just hit my hand on something. I bruised myself because I'm old.